Another exam question on the equilibrium topic. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So the bond angle around this nitrogen here, well, obviously it all depends on the number of electron regions around the nitrogen. So we've got one, two, that double bond counts as one region. So one, two, three. So our starting angle is 120 degrees, but now we've got to look at the types of electron regions we've got. We've got a lone pair and two bonding regions. Lone pairs repel more than bonding regions, so that's going to push the angle. It's going to put these two atoms close together, basically. And the rule of thumb is, for each lone pair, you knock two and a half degrees off. So the angle, we're going to say, is 117.5 degrees. And there's my explanation. Three electron regions around the nitrogen, two bonding regions, one lone pair. Lone pairs repel more than bonding regions. Moving on to part B, so we've got to write the Kc expression for this equilibrium. So Kc is a measure of the equilibrium concentrations of the products, two reactants, and remember that any balance of numbers become powers, and terms are multiplied by each other, not added. So the Kc expression looks like that. Next part, so the equilibrium concentration of chlorine is found to be 0.17 moles per decimeter cubed. So I've written that above the chlorine there. Where have the, where's the student got this 0.34 from? Well, it's from the mole ratio. So if you've got 0.17 moles of that, you'll have double the moles of that. Next part, we've got to work out the equilibrium concentration of NOCl, so this term here. So basically, we're going to rearrange the Kc expression and solve for this. So there it is rearranged. I've kept the squared um, sign with the NOCl. We'll deal with that at the end. So we'll put the numbers in. We get NOCl concentration squared equal to 1.31. So we just need to square root that which gives a concentration of 1.14 moles per decimeter cubed. And then for the next part, we've got to predict what's going to happen to the equilibrium concentration of nitrogen monoxide if we heat the temperature above 400 degrees C. So I've just copied out the relevant information, so the equilibrium and the delta H. So we can see from the positive sign that this forward reaction is endothermic. And we know from Le Chatelier's principle that an increase in temperature favours the endothermic direction, so it's going to make the reaction go forwards even more, over to the right. So this NO concentration is going to increase. So as an answer, I'm just saying the forward reaction is endothermic. Increasing the temperature shifts the equilibrium to the right. The NO concentration increases.